Let's take a look at naming compounds that have transition metals. So the transition metals, you might know these right here, but we also have what are called post-transition metals right here. So when we name, we use Roman numerals with the transition metals and with these post-transition metals here. So when we have a transition metal, we use Roman numerals. And we find those Roman numerals by looking at what these are bonded to, usually an element over here. So let's try a few. So let's name FeCl3. There's iron, our transition metal. So we're going to write iron and chlorine. And for the nonmetal, we replace the INE with IDE. Since we have a transition metal, we'll have Roman numerals. So to find out what the Roman numerals are, we need to look at the chlorine. Chlorine right here, group 17, that's 1 minus. So we have three of them, 3 minus. Iron has to be 3 plus, so we put a Roman numeral 3, and we're done. Iron 3 chloride. Now you try one. Pause and write the name for CuBr2. And copper is a transition metal. It's right here on the periodic table. So we write copper and bromine. Change the INE to IDE. And bromine right here, 1 minus. We have two of them, so that's 2 minus. Copper has to be 2 plus. Copper 2, bromide. Let's try naming a compound with a transition metal and a polyatomic ion. So we have CuSO4. You're not going to find SO4 on the periodic table. That's a polyatomic ion. So let's take a look at a chart of polyatomic ions. So here's a list of some of the polyatomic ions. I recommend you memorize these. And there's a link to this table in the description. So SO4, 2 minus, that's the sulfate ion. So the whole thing is 2 minus. That means the copper has to be 2 plus. So we're going to call this copper 2, and then we have our sulfate. And that's the name for CuSO4. Now you try one. NiNO3, 2. So pause and give this one a try. So nickel, that's a transition metal. NO3 is nitrate. And we know we have a 1 minus charge on the nitrate here. 2 times 1 minus is 2 minus. Nickel has to be 2 plus. Nickel 2 nitrate. So the best way to learn this is to practice. There's a link at the end of this video with some more practice on writing the names for compounds with transition metals, as well as a link to a video on memorizing the polyatomic ions. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.